Well, that's the weirdest thing ever. I, I, I thought it was loose and um, I tightened it up a little bit and uh, put it back on the bike and it still wouldn't change gear. And I don't know if you can see that, just on my thumb there, one of the gears is, one of the gear teeth has actually bent over. It's only the one. The most strangest thing, I've never had that before. Really weird. I don't know what the hell would have ever caused that. Um, lucky enough I've got a new one. I've got a spare one. I always like to carry a spare one of these. Um, yeah, strange. I'll have to um, have a word with um, ICE, see what they think about that. That's really strange. Yeah, it's very strange. This, um, this is the old one. That's the old one off the old one that was busted. And that's the new one. I cannot get that one on there. That is the new one, that is the new one. Whenever I go to put that on there, it's too proud to put the nut on. Yet if I put the old one back on there, I've got enough room to put the nut on. It's really strange quite frustrating really. Um, we keep at it, there must be a reason. I've tried locating them in different places but um, it just doesn't seem to give me enough room to get the nut on. Anyway, persevere. The problem seems to be these. It, this one is the old one and that fits in there really nice. I don't know it's because cause it's been on there and it's been tightened up but it goes in there, no movement, but it's really easy to go in. The new one, it just you just cannot get it in flush. It just doesn't want to know. I think I'm going to be forced to put the old part back in because it just will not see in this in there. It will go in in one angle, but then it will just rock. You just can't get it in. You keep putting it in, turning it around, turning it around until you get one that will go in, and you you know the teeth like that. But it will just rock. It won't fit flush like this one does, which is really strange. I think I'll end up putting the old one back in because I mean that's just pointless trying to get that in. It just doesn't want to go in. Really odd. Anyway, we'll keep trying and see if I can get it in. But you know, I've tried every angle possible. You can get it. You can get it all on, but it's not at the right angle to get a thread to get that on. But you can drop the old one straight on. Look, bang, goes straight on, no problem nice proud um, thread um, but you just can't do it with a new part it's so frustrating you just can't work out why there just doesn't seem to be any reason why I mean that in itself is just absolute nightmare to get back on again to try and find a, a slot but the other one just goes straight back on anyway keep persevering see what happens okay I've been persevering with this for an hour now I'm not joking because I thought to myself it's got to be me but that is as near as you can get that that small one inside that big one and it rocks there's just no way you can actually get that one in there like you can with this one so the only thing I can do is put it to use the bike is to put the old one back on on this the teeth look pretty okay on this one so and the only thing I can do is send this one back because I mean it just it just does not fit inside there it's an impossibility but where the old one it fits straight in it's great you put it onto there you can get the thread that one you can put that on but you can't get that one because you can't get the thread in so there's definitely something wrong with it so anyway I'll um, put the old one back on and I'll um, I'll have to send them back to uh, ICE for them to have a look at them. Okay, that took me exactly two minutes to put that together where I've been trying to get the new part with the new one. It took me over an hour and a quarter to I just couldn't get it on. It was impossible to get on. There must be some sort of manufacturing fault there somewhere that you just cannot get them two together flush. So I'll send the two new ones back and we'll have a look at that. That is quite amazing. On further inspection, it looks like one of the caps has fallen off the the actual. I don't know if you can actually see it. It's probably blue. I can't get nearer to it, but it looks like one of the caps has come off of one of these studs. The third stud on the bottom. The front one seems to have come off. 
and damage the gear, but um, my eyesight's not that great, so <laughs> I'll leave it up to uh, Ice to have a look at that one for me. Anyway, let's see if we can get this wheel back on and see if we can get using the bike. I've got it all back together again, um, tight. I'm just checking for any chain damage. I, had to, I didn't ride it in that gear because it was impossible, but it kept kicking it up. I just didn't want to. I don't want to. Uh, to damage this new one, it's like I say, they're two, near enough 200 quid a piece, so I mean, I don't want to damage it. But uh, no, it seems okay. Right, let's give her a test ride and see how she goes.